Episode 4. This address valid. Shepard, I've called and sent messages but gotten no response. Our first comm system out. I don't think Reckless will get through either, but I heard a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at the Horto Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Noara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. You should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Okay, the thing is at Horto Memorial. We definitely gotta go. There we gotta go. From Cinderblock, Commander. My name is John Dunbau. I'm with the Special Tactics Inspector. While some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in STNR take your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reaper. If you have time, Meet me in the Citadel Embassy. I appreciate your assistance. Sincerely, Jeldon Bao, STG, STNR. Okay, so we gotta go there as well. Ashton Williams. Commander, I don't know how to say this. Udina wants me to be a Spectre. Crazy, I know. I'm not a big fan of Udina, but he can make the Spectre thing happen. He's pressing me for an answer, but I don't know what to tell him. He was sort of get out of the bed, and this gets dropped on me? I told him I'd think about it. Find yourself near the st Citadel. Drop by the hospital. You a little stir crazy here. From Aria to look. I have a proposition for for <laughs> I really can't talk. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm the night club on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. So yeah, Afterlife is her club, but now she's on Purgatory. It's great. <laughs> But we last. Actually, I don't think there's anything to mine. Yeah. Not in this system. All right, so we got a diplomatic summit here. Um, and then there's Citadel missions. So let's go and rescue the students first. Grissom Academy. This is the Alliance Initiative for uh, top students. The state of mission of the John Grissom Academy, commissioned in 2176, is to serve a student population demonstrating excellence and passion for the math, science, and the liberal arts. Its entire its entirely human student body ranges in age from the early teens. Although the fact is not heavily advertised, the institution offers classes with biotic capability. School's Ascension Project seeks to train these students and integrate them into a normal society. Alright, so Javik's recovered. And he's only got two costumes. Definitely gonna bring her along. I wonder how the black looks because the white looks really good on her as well. Um, in fact, there's a Resident Evil 3 mod of this exact suit, um, and it's great because you know, Bill Valentine and anything besides worth. But um, all right, so we've got Edie here, um, and then Garrus. I'm gonna bring Garrus. Right, so picked up the new shotgun. I'm gonna be using it. And we have the Viper, which has considerably less weight, but also taking an L in the damage department. You save on. It's a trade off, it's always a trade. 
and of course the M8 Avenger. All right, so with Garrus, we're going to equip him with. Yeah, we can actually keep him with the M8. To be honest, and I'll just mop. And then give him the N7 Valley again. Gonna do a little less damage. But he'll be able to follow up on shots like sniper rifle constant air shot capacity upgrade better scope as if he wasn't already a good enough shot to begin so now we have ED spill hurricane and seven equal so what they call something like that. Right to myself. Yeah, I'm satisfied with what we got. Alright, so now we got skills. I sit on my skills again, max out fitness. <laughs> fitness nuts in your mouth. <laughs> got him. Let's see, boy, unshackled AI. Power damage. Let's go back. Let's look at her power. So she's got incendiary overload. So we probably do want her to have more boom or bang or buff. That power damage by 30% and go with bot bonus. I'm sure she has all of her skills. Decoy is pretty strong too. Decoy is pretty strong. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be like the skill out of her. Try to make it as tanky as Garrus. CC, out crowd control. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you get me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? <laughs> in position. We'll be back. Commander. Looks like they made a mess of things.
Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. Yeah, they have a... I think they have a romantic history. Um, during Captain Anderson, but it's in the novels. You have to read the Mass Effect novels to get that backstory. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get, and our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Sure. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frovark. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. I like her uniform. The, the red's a nice, nice color. Tactical analysis review, student ID 275668. And shielded opponent approaching at 2 o'clock, shielded opponent approaching at 12 o'clock, both holding heavy pistols. Most effective way to take, take them down. You chose shockwave. Correct answer. Singularity followed by warp. Instructors comment shockwave inadequate against shielded enemy. Your barrier would hold long enough against heavy pistols for a singularity to catch both. Warp on the, un on the unstable biotic field created by singularity results in explosion. Utilizing both enemies. Teaching these kids to tech. Destructors logs. The kids are getting better at this shit, but I'm worried. I don't think we've got enough time to pull this off. There's just no way they could really survive out there without way more training. Not without any field experience at all. I did my best to get them ready. Didn't think it ever cared as much. But I won't let anyone hurt them. They're mine kid. They're my kids. Mine.
Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. take a hit on weight but I love this gun so much even though I already have a sniper rifle Commander, so I shouldn't be I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall one of our instructors is with them but they can't hold out much longer And the uh, service on the intercom just sounds like the Galactic Empire from Star Wars. It's Jack. Eat this. Jack. Shepard. Putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. <laughs> Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh, damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. That makes up for giving him the damn collector base. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. <laughs> okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well... I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. <laughs> I will destroy you! <laughs> Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe. 
but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. So I can't believe you and our teacher work together. That's pretty bad. With both of you here. Yeah. Maybe we've got a chance. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. How's your aunt? Hot. I think I pulled a muscle in her brain. Just drink your juice. We'll be fine. Sanders, you should have access now. High priority target, student ID 125D Kringley. Capture priority alpha, bring back alive at all costs. Final retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership testing scores. Considered prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subsequent long term mission reduction. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Some magnetic locks should be this way. Maybe. I can make 
My man is in, okay. He's gonna be okay, he's gonna be all right. <laughs> Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those but Those guys <laughs> from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? I've seen firsthand what Cerberus does to people they promise not to harm. What? You see the scars, Rodriguez? Come on, take a good look. Cerberus did this to me when I was half your age. Ugh. Surrender and you're meat on a slab. We're trying to save your asses. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go.
the AT. Shit. You come after my kid? You are dead, you hear me? He literally had me in offensive formation. But luckily I could tank it. Okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't wash her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing though. You need to hurry.
That's where I go. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi-core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold up your guns for hours. Sanders, this is Shepard. I've got some scared students hiding behind a shield prototype. How do we know it isn't just Cerberus rigging the voice? You could test for distortion peaks, Isaac. Like I did when you faked a voice print to break curfew. <laughs> Octavia's shield, remind her that I docked her half a grade because application of non-concurrent forces overloaded the emitters. Thanks, Sanders. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Couldn't save everyone, but we got most people, at least. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Priority target, student ID 262B Rodriguez, capture priority alpha. Bottle retrieval subject, due to very high aptitude scores, despite limited biotic ability, considered prime candidate for indoctrination and enhancement under the Phantom. I didn't want to make her into an assassin. Alright. It's Gundam time, baby.
get out, guys. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. <laughs> we kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides... I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f flight lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kid. <laughs> hey, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love it. I love it. I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. All right. Well, we just got a little stronger. Kaylee Sanders. Let's look at her background. First Lieutenant Kaylee Sanders joined Grissom Academy's Board of Directors at Gave up her military. And the Cerberus raid on the Academy's floor by Commander Shepard, Sanders is working working to recreate the trophy and device from the cars. Past work as a systems technician, specifically studying synthetic intelligence, has helped to code from the complex feedback systems that control the weapons of energy out. Some of Grissom's academies were technically minded students were saved from Cerberus by Commander Shepard if met up with Sanders contributing to some of the problems. Okay, we got one oh third division i don't know why they used um um eclipse like a screenshot of eclipse maybe they didn't want to like make one of alliance soldiers but this image just never made sense to me um because they're not alliance they're mercenary um, and we shot a lot of them Jack, formerly known as Subject Zero, may be the most talented bionic of her time. After helping Shepard destroy the Collector, she offered a teaching position at the Grissom Academy by the Alliance. Accepting the position for reasons of her own, Jack continued her skills while 
students. Grissom's board, uh, Grissom board of directors member Liz Sanders has vouched for Jack's energetic, if unorthodox, teaching style. The rest of the inroads meet with the children under the rogue by Ox. Yep. So that's what we got. Still not at minimal stream. Encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Oh my. From Stephen Hackett. Haley Sanders. Hi, Commander. Didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the academy, out of the academy and Admiral Hackett agreed to send us your way. While my students are out on duty, doing what I can to help with the crucible, it's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too, watching them work. It's the future command. The project will inform human progress for generations. I'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee said. From Miranda Lawson, Shepard, I'm relieved nothing happened to me. I can't guess what nonsense the Alliance kicked up to justify what they did. I'm just glad you're safe. I'll be waiting on the Citadel by Bay D2. Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. <laughs> I don't think they complain. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it it is shorthand will all this new feedback be too distracting do not worry shepherd i only forget to recycle the normandy's oxygen when i've discovered something truly interesting <laughs> that was a joke you look like you're in the middle of something i am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. 
Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. That's Plus, the man to do something it. Calibrated. He's already working on that. So Jackson instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were thrown. Commander. Ah, uh, I did Commander. it again. What's the habit? Don't hate me. <laughs> I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander. Thinking I can go around about. It's after 3 a.m., guys. <laughs> I immediately started recording this episode after I uh, recorded the last episode. Screw that county. from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. That's depressing. Commander. A little more power damage. Spider-Man suit. It's a rocket. That's a rocket. more of a matte look.
I mean, all of the, all of the songs are big. Except this one. I don't like this one. I think this is the only one that has lyrics, if I'm not mistaken. I miss my fish. But yeah, I forgot you could do this. Yeah, this is a pretty cozy room. If my bedroom looked like this, I would be pretty high. Except for the uh, brush floors, I would want like tile. I feel like I would cut my foot or something on one of these pads. Even though it looks pretty soft, but you know, the exposed cable and stuff is like... Oh, my room looks like that now, so I'm being ingenuine <laughs> if I'm gonna raise some raise a fuss about that but yeah music's a lot better than in the previous game all right um, so Citadel has opened up and I've got a lot of people to talk to on the Citadel. I got to see Miranda, Ash, Ain, like literally everyone just popped up. So we've got a diplomatic meeting that we need to do. And then we have the Citadel run. So next episode is probably going to be just a bunch of dialogue. Cause I'm not doing it tonight. I got to get up in the morning for work. <laughs> So I have done enough. I have done enough. So just go ahead, call it here. Uh, man, this N7 hoodie looks drippy. Like I need to, I know I can get one from like the Bioware store. I need to buy one. But I live in Florida, so it's like so rare. If I live on the West Coast, I could actually, you know, this would have utility, but Florida like, you're going to wear this uh, during the winters, you know. Anywho, I've spoken enough. You guys take it easy. Catch you next time. I'm also going to save my game because I learned my lesson. And, um...